Hello, friends. Welcome to Mystery Crate. Hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. Greg Cody back again. Hi, Billy. In a lounging stance. Which again. I love. Oh, great. You look so comfy. Great. He's so relaxed when he's here. I'm laid back right now. Yeah. Laid back, Jack. Just try to be That's laid right. back into the microphone. All right. He's got Hang it out on. there. Yeah. He's okay. Oh, okay. This table you could, ju- flimsy, <laughs> you could just move the microphone can easier I? than you can. Like, no, I think it's move it? I don't think so. I yeah, think you can, you can at least like angle it up a little bit, maybe. That uh, part oh, there. Yeah. There we go. like that. Ah, is that better? It, it is. is better. All right. You know what? I, I kind of want to do that too. Let me see if mine does okay. that. I l- I'm liking it. Mine I feel like I'm in a chaise lounge. It's a right good now. angle. Some yeah. of the chairs are complicated here, though. Like this look at Tony, he's struggling. Yeah. How do you feel about that seat, Greg? The normal Stugat seat. I mean, I feel honored to be in it. You know. I ask you this because I will. Um, Mike Fuentes, I think, knows what I'm going <laughs> to yeah. go to. Here. Before the show today, like moments before the show today, which is of course Friday because we're doing this live. Oh no, I think we're Saturday. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, so moments before we started recording today, uh, I saw Stugatz in the studio by himself, and I was like, "What's going on? Like, how's it going? Good morning, whatever." And he was sitting in what would be your seat, mm-hmm. and then he said to me, "I think I might sit here today." And I'm like, why would you do that? He's like, I think it's better sight lines. On I the just, worst possible day. Like. I just want to try it. I just want to <laughs> sit here today. And I was like, what, what, what are we doing? We're just changing things just for the sake of changing things, like right before the show starts, just to kind of throw things off. So now I'm wondering, now that you've sat in his seat, if you feel comfortable in that seat as opposed to your normal seat. Uh, I'm comfortable over there where I usually sit, but I can tell you this is a better sight line. I'll say this. This is much better. It's just, I don't it's just, why. just it's kinda, the day he, like the day exactly. he picks. To do it is the only day there's someone certainly in that seat. It's just to complicate things, <laughs> but but this seat is more molded the desk anyways for a person's body yeah, where that here. one is going more towards right. in towards you. Yeah. Plus here, like I don't have to crane my neck mm-hmm. to see the gall darn clock. Yeah. You know, I can I can <laughs> simply I can simply look up. I I can see the clock right now. You can always look up. up. Yeah. Nah, but it's different. When you're it's sitting here, Chris, you. you don't get until you sit here. Thank you. When you're having a conversation with somebody across the way, yeah, right. it's, it's like a 45 degree neck turn. That that's you have right. To, that's the idea. If you got a bad it's neck, all too, by design that's to make why you we fail, did that Greg. To yeah, it's all by design. I know it's a conspiracy. The cards it's are stacked against, against you. you. Yeah. It's yeah. a conspiracy. I'm telling you, hmm. guys. Uh, I have a follow up from last week's mystery crate because last week. What did we talk about? Well, I'm going to get to it. Oh. So last week, I got the most feedback on Twitter that I've ever gotten for a Mr. Crate, or Mr. Crate in a really long time. Mm-hmm. Like people were saying, hey, tell me this, tell me this, tell me this, tell me this, tell me this. Because something happened with Mike Fuentes last week that caused a lot of reaction. And I'm wondering if he knows what this Was is I here? in reference to. Yes, you were here. Well, what are we talking about? I don't remember. About the, scar, the Scarface take. Oh, boy, buddy, do I have something for <laughs> you? So why are all these people Woo! coming coming at me through you guys? Well, no, nobody well, what said do you it to think, me. They what do you think they're him. saying? I don't know. You? It must be negative. I, I. Well, for those who weren't listening last week, what was your take? Oh, it's a bad movie. Okay. Hmm. It's this a guy. very quotable movie, but very bad. Okay. It's not a good movie. I went back and I watched it. Scarface? Scarface. From on last Saturday. week to this week? Yeah, on Saturday. Be- Subconsciously. I, I totally forgot you about my watch it? terrible oh. take. So subconsciously, something in me was like, oh, why don't we watch Scarface today? So Saturday morning, played my hoops in the morning, came back home, and it was like 11.30, and I was like, you know what? Let me throw on Scarface. My wife's doing some errands around the house. She's going around to Target, different places. I'm like, I can throw this on, have some lunch, and watch a classic. Wait, you watched this entire thing without thinking one time about my Not contest? thinking once about my That's contest. a lie. That, I swear to God. <laughs> I, dude, I lie. didn't even know that you guys had talked. I, I totally forgot about it. Well, okay, I will say that was not the take that he gave that people reached out to me on behalf oh. of. So it seems like you just had two Terrible takes. takes. What was the other one? This one you weren't in here for, which is why I didn't <laughs> share the yeah, situation. <laughs> Do you know what I'm oh, talking about now? Oh, now I get it. Is this the barber take? <laughs> yeah. This is, this is about your barber. So last week I it's said – It's not a take I, as much as it is a situation that he's trying to get. I so said, we're doing this? We're doing it. Well, no, we're not doing it. We I don't know. Do so I said Names that will I, be withheld. I yeah. had information about exactly. Mike Fuentes and oh, no. his barber, and then I stopped myself because he wasn't here, and right. I said it's not for me to tell that story. And I had – no less than 27 people wow. reach out to me and say, what's the Mike Fuentes barber story? And here's the thing. I don't know the name of your barber, <laughs> so I wasn't sure if maybe your barber was trying to sneak in and get wow. me to tell the story to your barber. Which one? A lot of conspiracies. Which, oh, I have multiple, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Which one reached yeah, out? I have like three. Yeah. You got three? Yeah, I got I don't like that. You know. What? That's a, that may, that's a safer thing now because now we – we can admit that you definitely don't like one of them. Yeah. He doesn't like two of them. Why no. should you only have, have three? No, no. Well, because 
one guy very hard to get an appointment with mm -hmm. he has one of these app things but every time i look at it his like next available appointment is like four weeks down the line same yeah, yeah. crazy yeah. And then my guy you, like it's hard to get that's I gotta why you gotta have it. a relationship yeah. with the guy where you can text him and be like brother i need you to fit me I, from I, from 115 do, to 130 and then you is, got a gap my hair this, cuts quick let's roll this is the same guy i gave to coogs and no and wonder. he but he never seems to have this problem but no. then the thing is like that this guy he does women's hair and I totally understand. He's more of like a salon barber yeah, than because, he is like and he a can do, barber barber. And he can do, a stylist. He can yeah. do two women, and he'll make like $700. He's like wasting his time with us because he'll make like $50 off us, so it's not really worth his time. He'd rather do like multiple female clients. I totally understand. So he's leaving you on red. Basically. And then I'll ask him. You're hey, like, hello? Hey, man, come on. I really got this thing Saturday. He'll ghost me. And then all of a sudden, he'll show up out of nowhere, like sending me an Instagram DM. Oh, man, you see this thing that happened in XYZ Sport? I'm like... <laughs> You know, like, this, brother, uh, this person's going to know you're talking about them now. Though. Exactly. Yeah, you're giving a lot of details. Yeah, but he'll just laugh it off. He's not like that. <laughs> okay. There's a little and, accent there. Yeah. And you have two other. Yeah. Then my other guy is the guy in question. And then the other guy is the emergency guy who I only ask him to do like very specific. Things. We all have the emergency the guy. The emergency guy. Yeah. Well, not, not all of us. No, I, no, I, have, I don't have one, have one guy at the moment. But Greg, Tony, you, Greg, if you have an emergency guy. But if you happen, if this guy was like, I'm out of town. No, I don't have. No, I'm out of town. Now, what do you do? No, there's nothing. Like, but what if he's out of town? He's yeah. not. He's always there. <laughs> he's <laughs> he is always there. You're not going to play my game with me. No, because it's never happened. I've been going to him since 2014, and there has been not this one This guy needs moment. to take a vacation. I agree. I was thinking about that the other day, actually. <laughs> Funny enough, I was like, he owns the barbershop, so I'm like, yeah. man, this guy's got to take a week off here and there. But Bring him. Aren't you going on one soon? Bring him. Yeah, take I'll him on to, vacation. I'll talk to him about it. You have been underpaying him for seven years that's now, not so true. you yeah. can take so him on a vacation. That's why he can't afford a vacation. So many exactly. people, Tony not has not hasn't been paying Wow. Him. So <laughs> many people have reached out to me saying you're, you're right. percent right. Of course, you're always right. That's not about me being honest. Tony, it's like, <laughs> there's not a right or wrong. There could just be, you could be like, I'm going to give this guy more now because I appreciate him. and You throw yeah. him extra now and Inflation, then, right? bro. Yeah, Cost him 15 bucks to drive to the... Wherever the hell you get your he, haircut. What are you and talking and about? the guy owns the barbershop. He owns so his, the shop. His overhead must be crazy. Tony's still stiffing him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, terrible. Can I just say. His rent's probably 1500 bucks a month and you're paying him $15. Uh, it's definitely more than that. It's definitely more than that if he's running a business. Um, I'm glad that you said that a lot of people have reached out to you and told you that you are right always because. I didn't say always. <laughs> earlier today. I said this specific. There's a lot of people that reach out to me and tell me how wrong I am. So it's this specific thing. A couple people reached out and they were like, hey, look. You are grandfathered in. You bring other clients here. You've done a lot of promotion for this person. Wow. Like your grandfather. You haven't in with promoted the, the person price. once. You what just you keep saying about? you haven't said the person's name where they work. You haven't promoted that's, the person once. That's not once. true. You listen back to last week and weeks prior where I've said <laughs> Lucas Rodriguez five star cuts. A hundred percent. I was about to say it's a good time to say it right now. I've, yeah. I've said it. I was it a trying to set times. him up. Yeah. You didn't have to get here. defensive. I'm not defensive. He did cut Mike's hair. He cut Mike's hair here? on the show. Yeah, he's the one that gave him the the bald. The bald. Oh, the fine bump. The bald. Okay. So we were talking earlier, and we had an idea for a segment. No, 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 you had an idea for a segment. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. It was you and Taylor more specifically. Oh, boy. So there's an idea for Is this for a segment se we want to pitch to Coogs or no? No, no Coogs, Coogs is involved, though. Coogs is supposed to be in this segment. I heard about this. This sounds like a good show. Okay, yeah, so yeah, this guy knows. I texted Tony. I don't know if you're going to like this. I texted Tony, <laughs> and I said, Tony, come in with a bunch of facts today. Yeah, he said that. I was working on I was like, I don't know what this guy's trying to say. Did you bring in your facts? Do you I, have facts? I Just have at the top of your head? Yeah, I got At the ready. Yeah, I got Okay, perfect. Because the name of this segment, Greg, and you might find this interesting, I found out, <laughs> and it's a segment that stars Tony, it stars Mike Fuentes, and it stars Coogs, who hasn't been on the air and mm -hmm. doesn't want to be on the air. And today, when I pitched this segment, said no, he would not be part of this segment. Okay. It's called The Know-It-Alls. And the way that the know-it-alls works I is... I hate this segment. <laughs> the, the, three, <laughs> the three of them are very similar, and the three of them know everything they just have different ways of delivering the fact that they know everything right they have a fact on absolutely everything a story about everything whatever happens it's happened to them or someone that they know better or worse than it happened to that person i actually and think fuentes know... is the leader on this well what? okay no he's way. got a little bit about it you don't do it tony does it more in a way like i'm right and you're wrong you do it in That's a way crazy you, they, you they, do it more in like hey i got a little helpful i could tell you this and it's like do you have a little fact about everything they just, all just drop do it, it in casually they do it in very different ways tony's the most bombastic of the bunch <laughs> in regard to this Right, Mike. If Flint you disagree with him, he's like, "That's crazy. That's crazy. That's that bro. is crazy. Though. That's crazy. It is crazy. That's crazy. It is crazy. It's a fact, and you're arguing with me What's about a fact. It's wild. 
Whatever. What thing are we arguing about right Any, now? Anything that's a fact, you guys want to argue with me about it. And I'm like, guys, look it up. It's a fact. Whatever. Not the yeah. point. You could look it up. Give me an example, because I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Give me a random example of hmm. a fact that, that okay. you might have. Earlier, I was walking around saying how al-Assad, the ruler of uh, Syria, was invited back to the Arab League and what a controversy it was. And then these guys, well, not these guys, but somebody's like, oh, you know, the president of Syria. They didn't know anything about Syrian civil right. war, none of that. So, like, everybody was shocked that I know these facts. Okay. And no that's one fair. was talking about the Syrian civil war. No one was I talking about soccer. Joke, he just, just like brought it up out of nowhere. He's like, oh, did you hear? And it's like, <laughs> we weren't talking about this. <laughs> if you're, the other day, I was like, oh, man, I, I've gotten some new Jordans. And, like, I really got to clean this guy. Very helpful. Hey, what you can do is sends me a link. Got, he knows exactly how to clean Jordans. It's just no matter what you're talking about. He's got something that can I can help you. I got an Sorry, eye. he's a learned guy. The guy knows what Thank he's you. talking about. He, he does research on stuff, reads things, many, he's interested uh, in different things. Many many leather, leather bound books. It's crazy. Yeah. Smell of rich it's, mahogany. It's crazy, bro. Okay, is the concept though? Is it a competition? Is the concept no. to have a fact that nobody else no. knows? The it's, concept is somehow see, make fun of these guys. Than, yeah. He knows the, yeah. the yeah. concept more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> he can but tell it's you. True. He's right. Yeah, exactly. The how do I make fun of Tony <laughs> and Mike you. and Kugler all at the same time without them knowing it? Incorrect. While making them boobs for my show. Incorrect. And then everybody gets to laugh with me. False. And then we bring it up later Incorrect. and we laugh at them again. Exactly. He's a gag. Do you like it, Greg? Exactly. Exactly. Thanks. Look, a little bit about everything again. It would be a round table. We would have the three of them there and oh, they just be God. kind of it's sharing dinner facts. for schmucks is what you're trying <laughs> to recreate <laughs> kind of yeah i'm not well, your schmuck we'd really? all be learning things because coogs is similar but coogs just drops like hollywood things and like behind the scenes things he hates like every this comedian show. by the way his, and his he doesn't be... like any comedian no comedian is funny to him everybody you guy you bring up a guy oh that guy sucks not funny <laughs> yeah how about this guy no not funny i saw him he's an asshole he's it's a like... comedy writer man what do you want oh, from please. him oh wow nobody nobody's funny <laughs> nobody's funny <laughs> Comedy Except doesn't him. exist. Comedy Except doesn't him. Exist. He's the only guy that's funny. That's crazy. I want to see if he's still out there. Coops will always have like a very soft spoken fact. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You'll barely hear it. He'll just be like, that was the third time yeah, that's happened. Yeah, it's like, like someone else say something. He's like, you know, Eric Andre. Oh, oh. And I was like, okay. <laughs> a, so oh, a, a soft spoken fact and a Diet Coke in hand. Yeah. Yes. The Coogler way. The Diet Coke's got to stop. That's, I'm and then Tony's just, that. that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> I can't eat plain Pringles. Like, Pr Pringles overall are. A bit overrated for me. Not not plain. I don't know. It's like there's too salty, like extra salt on. Too them. salty? Yeah. Thank you guys for paying attention. By the like way, like why? Like why would they be too salty? I don't know. They just something about them. I, I mean, do you eat saltier chips than that? Like I think Cape Cod are very salty. Cape Cods like are them. also delicious. Like kettle kettle cooked chips are very salty. The best Cape Cod chip is the jalapeno, without a doubt. Yeah, hundred percent. Sweet and spicy jalapeno is uh, the, the number best. one Cape Cod. The absolute best. Little about everything. A, it's the, just an you the two, I was trying to see how, <laughs> how long the two of them would go, would back, go back and forth with each other about chips, which is not what we discussed talking about. We were going to play a game, but then the What's two of them just started talking about chip? chips. Because I'm a jalapeno chip connoisseur. You know, you know what I really like? Of course the, you are. <laughs> the Dorito. We used to have them here. It comes in like the lime bag and they twisty mm -hmm. and they're like uh, fiery, but they have like a hint of lime. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it was called. That's but not my question. Here. That wasn't my question. My question was, what jalapeno chip is your favorite? Oh, but I only know like two or three. So it'd probably be Cape Cod. Really? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> no, what a moron. By the way, we didn't start this. We didn't say to them, "Hey, do that thing where you guys sound like no it all." No, it just no, no, no. Can I can I tell no you what I, can I tell you what I'm happened today? Asking my friend an opinion about yeah, food. Yeah, can I have an opinion taste. about food? Or like we're doing content. Here. That's crazy. <laughs> is that what we do? That's crazy. This is crazy. That's crazy. Can I tell you how the, <laughs> the idea for the no it all it's segment chips, started today? Dirty chips jalapeno the best. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, are those like the voodoo? No, that, no that's voodoo's different. are good though. I voodoo's like voodoo's. good. But I'm like just trying to get in this game. So I know when chips. you go to a pub sub, when you go to a pub uh, sub, you know how they have that that yes, little. Yes, I do. I know that rack well. That rack. They have all the dirty chips. They have like jalapeno. They've got like a sweet. What makes them dirty? One. I like their barbecue. The name, mm. the name is yeah. The, the barbecue one's good. I gotta say two things about chips. I can't let it slide. Number one, uh, Pringles are artificial chips. Mm. Real chips look down on Pringles. Preach. Yeah. They're preformed. They're just they're the low rung on the chip ladder. This is why I'm happy you're here, Greg. And, and, Stuff and like the, this. And yeah. the other thing is, I got to be honest, the kettle chip, too crunchy, hmm. too wow. hard. I, and I and you're a texture guy. The, like you're the type that I'm he, telling you, you know, like a, a piece of sausage. My dad is something that he likes a char like on a snap. Thing. 
a yeah. snap. So it's in interesting. Yeah. I would oh, think wow. you it's love kettle. Steak. Yeah. So you like not. So you like snap, but not too much snap. The, the, the kettle chip is is so crunchy that it's. I feel like it's competing with my teeth. Hmm. You know, and often. Who's winning? winning? Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah, and and the, the other problem is I'm a loud chewer. I don't chew with my mouth open. My dad chews. I, I wish you go get some food so he can do this. I chew loud. He chews right here. with the no, front. He, he won't eat those. He, no, he'll, do, he'll eat it for this experiment. He, like, doesn't... You know, we chew... You chew with the back. Mm -hmm. You put the food in the back. Mm -hmm. My dad, it seems like he's chewing with his front teeth. Greg, Greg don't eat that. <laughs> you don't want to chew. Greg, you, de you deserve better than and that. And so when I'm chewing kettle chips, hmm. it sounds like... What's that? A ASMR? Mm -hmm. What does that call it? Sounds, you nailed it. It sounds like a crazy magnified sound. Eat the chip. It's a fake chip. It is a fake chip. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing this just for the show. Yeah. Close to the mic. Nice crunch on that. Mm. What's it taste like? It tastes like a preformed chip. Hmm. Yeah, the flavor's not terrible, but <clears throat> you get the feeling. The it's, is it a real it's a potato? Chip facade. Like, what is that? It's is, a mirage. Does is it what come it is. from a potato? It's a fake potato. Did this chip come from the ground? I don't think so. I think so. It comes from a lab. That's what it feels so, like. So it's like a formed potato paste Yeah. made into a chip. Like I exactly. like that, Dad. Do that again. Like do, it, do it slower. Mmm. See how the food's Makes like kind of hungry. See how the food's like at the front of his mouth, though. This particular potato came from Tennessee. That's a lie. No, I meant. Oh, <laughs> well, Tony it, knows where it came no, from. It's, it's an it's actual just, potato. They, they say that. It doesn't really mean anything. What do you mean they just say that? You don't think that people put stuff on packages to just say it? No. Yes. Why would they make up? It's in Tennessee. Like what? What are they hiding? He probably means the packaging plant is in Tennessee, not that the potato was grown there. If it ain't from Idaho, it ain't a potato. There Attaboy. you go. See. Greg knows things. What do people put on packages that's just made up? Anything. Hey, we've got this. This was pressed in Italy. No, it wasn't. It was pressed in New Jersey. <laughs> what are we talking about? That happens all the time in the food industry. Wow. I'm not going to start this with you. It does happen a lot in the supplement industry. That, that the too. Supplement that too. In you too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> supplement industry. He's right. He's right. Like when? See, thank, you for support, thank you for supporting me, Tony. But, all the, but it's right. But I what happened? What, I, I support look, truth. I'm gonna, that's what I support. Guys, I'm just going to tell you right now. I don't know about the supplement industry. Wow. Enlighten me. Okay, well, where do we start? It's a dirty business. I don't have much more like than the that chips. for being honest. Like the chips. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's you a just lot said it happens all the time in the supplement industry. Seen, and then I said, like, what? And you said, I don't have any more on I've this. I've seen well, I documentaries more. where they talk about it. And this guy, he made his own supplement. He's yeah. like, you can basically put anything you want on this label. Yeah. FDA approved. They don't give a shit. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Can I just, okay, a couple things before we get back to the supplement industry. Because I don't want to lose It's a dirty game. what happened here. So you said about people making their own supplements. That's kind of how this whole know-it-all segment started. I kind of my vision for it, Greg. Are you familiar with the metal larkers? Mm -hmm. My my <laughs> what vision are they? for this. <laughs> my vision podcast. for this is yeah, we have a podcast called the Know It Alls, but it's like the metal larkers, but it's you and Fuentes and Coogs and me in there, just kind of learning from the three of you because you were saying that someone makes their own supplements. Mm -hmm. Coogs today came in and he made his own salsa. salsa. That he wanted us to put on all of our sandwiches and all of our food. That's a, little, He's weird. Like, That's a little weird to me. Well, we did get into that. That's we don't even have That's time like a to Jeffrey break Dahmer down. Jeffrey where he's like, "Oh, eat the sandwich," and you're like, "I don't want no to eat comment. the sandwich." No sure. comment. We did decide that if he was one that kills people, it would be poisoning. It wouldn't yeah. be. Yeah, he doesn't. Crimes. He doesn't have the stomach for stabbing. Yeah. So, anyways, interesting. What happened is, is he like death from afar? He, Correct. He brought his sauce that he made himself, salsa, whatever it was, right. And then like like dip dip salsa like yeah, yeah. for chips yes, yeah yes. Okay. yeah but he wants you to put it on things like hot sauce because you don't have tortilla chips here right 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 yeah. okay okay so they were talking about Chinese restaurants and mm -hmm. then Mike you'll be surprised to know knows the way to find the best Chinese <laughs> restaurants and it's by going is it the three star rule so yes Tony, yes star rule? <laughs> yes see yes. You why are you guys <laughs> you guys are just mad yes, that me and, and Tony know rule. stuff <laughs> you always go to three and a half stars yes. because. That way, the food is excellent, but the service is crap. Do you guys hear yourselves? <laughs> what? What? We're two learned individuals, what? men of knowledge. I, I haven't spoken to Mike about this. Yeah, at all. Ever. Yeah. I, nobody I just in his office has until rule. today. Three and a half stars, the perfect Chinese restaurant. Yeah. yeah. So so Coogs then agreed with it. See? And, and Coogs Tropical do. Chinese? Three right. and a half stars? And then, and then out of nowhere... He pulls out a bag from a Chinese restaurant from his backpack just to one up him because that's what the three of them do. <laughs> that's exactly what happened. He's not even. Lying. What did he have inside? No, he it's how he brought his sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah in but, a Chinese but it, bag. Just exactly. waiting for someone to talk to him about a bag or something so he could take it out and show everybody. The, star, the stars aligned for the Chinese restaurant take. It was pretty perfect. I love that. 
Speaking of stars, I got a game for you guys. Do, are we going back to the dirty supplement business? Or? If you want, we can. I don't know anymore. Very quickly. I think I can do this in five minutes. But um, okay. So, so I saw another TikTok okay. about celebrity names. Yours is. We're we'll, okay. He's no got. He wants to talk about TikTok right now. We'll get no, to no, the supplements. No, no, maybe no. now. He's maybe later. Maybe yeah, never. This, this, this is celebrity. How's names. it going, Greg? It's going great. Yeah. Greg will actually appreciate this. The know-it-alls might work, right? You're kind of seeing it play out in in real time. You know, I am. My own podcast has a bit called Three Facts Jack. I just really? wanted to make I sure there was one, no what, what? copyright infringement, but it sounds like we're good. We're what podcast good. is that? The Greg Cody Show with uh, Greg Cody. Greg Cody huh? Ooh, yeah, yeah. What's the merch store link? Uh, I don't know, Christopher. What is it? The Greg Cody Show dot com slash shop. Okay. There you go. I'll have you guys know, in my car right now, I have a nice hat hat <laughs> sitting there. Very nice. You're exhausting. It's a yeah. beautiful thing. You bought a nice hat hat, and you have it in there? Nice you in hat. the cart. You wanted to talk about TikTok. Now you're talking about the I'm hats not, that I don't he's want, talking look, about. I don't want to talk about TikTok. It's just something I saw on TikTok. TikTok oh. is a vehicle. Okay, gotcha, It's like okay. YouTube. It's like TV. Yeah, 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 yeah four minutes. Okay, yeah. so I found out a bunch of celebrities that have stage names, but their real names are interesting. And I got one for you specific, Ooh. Billy. For me? Right? Tony so knows. I'm, so I'm going to go through the small list. I want you I'm guys to see give, if I know. Tony has to guess. go. Yeah, last. give an educated yeah. I'm guess. Sure I can guess it. Okay, I know. I'll, I'll start with Chris. We'll do the Cody's first, then Billy, and then Tony. Okay, okay. number one, Karen Elaine Johnson. Who is that? <laughs> I'm cooked. Karen Elaine Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Kesha. Incorrect. <laughs> That's not a bad guess. That's not. That's a not bad a bad guess. guess. I mean, yeah. who knows? Yeah. Anything yeah. could be a good guess. Um, I don't know. Beyonce. <laughs> no, her name is actually Beyonce. Her, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. What do I know? Billy. My turn. Yeah. Cher. Share? No, not a bad guess. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Tony has no idea. Okay. <laughs> uh, Tony well, doesn't know celebrities. I, yeah, that's one part that I'm a, okay. a little bit. That is the around. real name of one Whoopi Goldberg. Wow. Oh, I. You know, I looked her up the other day for some <laughs> Why? reason because I, because we were talking about stage names. Right. Anyway, well, wait. Huh? So you looked that up and her didn't name know the isn't answer. Whoopi Goldberg. I forgot. <laughs> it was last week. I don't know how you land on Whoopi Goldberg from I Karen Elaine Johnson, but oh. that's that one. Oh, okay, okay, here's another one. This is a good game. Is yeah. she the only not Whoopi really. on earth? Yeah, well, she's, well, she's Karen. Well, but but the only human. <laughs> Another whoopee? classic. The whoopee yeah. cushion is a classic, yeah. though, Greg. That's you true. Agree. You okay. got that right. This one, Thomas Mapather the fourth. Thomas Mapather the fourth. Chris Cody. Kid Rock. No. <laughs> Greg Cody. Uh, ben Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite a movie star, but. Is this, oh, hold on, is this only uh, movies? It's all movie stars. These are all movie stars. Oh, music. Okay. Movie these stars. are all movie stars. It's only movies. Billy, okay. Thomas Mapathor, Mapathor the fourth. Tom Cruise. Boom, he got it. Tom <laughs> Cruise. I was going to yeah. say Tom Cruise next, too. Wow. Yeah. Okay, this one. You were going to say it next. I was gonna, yeah, no, because the, the only Tom I know is Tom Cruise. That's right? the only Tom you know. Yeah. Nah, Tom Hiddleston. Tom, well, that, that one had like a little a little hint in it. Okay, we'll go real quick. Margaret Mary Emily Ann. This is a terrible game. No, no, we have two more. Margaret Mary Emily Ann. Stop Googling, Chris. What? Chris, you're disqualified. Greg, <laughs> your turn. <laughs> what? Uh, Anne Margaret. No. Anne Hathaway. No. Damn it. That's what I was going to say. Margaret Mary Emily Ann. Uh, I don't know, man. Meg Ryan is Ooh, Margaret. Wow. Okay, uh, and this is, and this is, yeah. I have. There's so many celebrities out there. This I is know. a very tough game. Well, because sometimes it gives you like a little hint <laughs> within like, the name. That last name had like seven first it names. It did. Eric Marlon Bishop. Who is that? Chris is disqualified again. <laughs> Eric Marlon Bishop. He's now feeding Greg Cody the name. I know, I know, this, I know this Cody. one. I know this one. Okay. Then let Tony go. Uh, I, I don't know. I okay, no Tony, idea. we'll skip. Marlon Wayans. Also wrong. Uh, Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx is wow. the answer. Really? I think Correct. that... Uh, I'm good at <laughs> the this. Marlon, wow. the Marlon, you know, I, you can't trust you guys are fucking anything. You know? <laughs> God damn it, Chris. We're yeah, trying to help you, bro. It's a bad game. And yeah. the, final, <laughs> the, uh, the <laughs> final one, I'm going to go straight to Billy. Mark Sinclair. Who is Mark Sinclair, oh. Billy? That's Vin Diesel. Boom, he actually got it. There you go. Fast. I five. fed him that one too. And that concludes random movie names. There you go. <laughs> All, right. All right. Wow. Woo. Anyway, so supplements. Thrilling. Yeah, it's not really a relegated <laughs> industry. The FDA loosely has a hand on it, but you know, supplements. Regulated, can be, yeah, not relegated. Uh, relegated, relegated, schmegulated, whatever. Anyway, supplements. You got anything else, Tony? Nobody. No? I don't have anything. You came in with nothing? No. You know what? He said it all. <laughs> he said it all. Yeah. You guys are supposed to know things. You're the know-it-alls. Yeah, yeah but you know you're what? also not asking me anything. Yeah, just like go, mm. and it's that that kind of bores me. Like no, I don't I, want it to be like go, tell me everything you know. It's like I want to have a dialogue with you. I asked you before if you could bring facts today. You said I did. Yeah. I have facts about other things. What facts? Like dietary dietary facts. You know, as shitty as a game as that was, at least had it gave us something to talk about. Yeah. Now we're all just staring at each other. Fifty seconds left. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, the facts thing was a different game, right? It was just have a fact about something so we could talk. Okay. It was, um, it was did you know, uh, in this weird fact game, that if you uh, do 
30 minutes in a sauna per week, your chances of dying of a cardiovascular episode go down by about like 60%. I should have had more actor names. What does that mean? If you go into a sauna at least 30 <laughs> minutes per Pretty week, self-explanatory, I thought. <laughs> your, your chances of dying of a cardiovascular disease go down by like more than 50%. But not sooner. You just won't die of that. What? <laughs> Am I speaking a different language? <laughs> Mike, Tony, um, what is the most, like, what are some of the most popular cereals? We're not in this, Greg. Yeah, Frosted really Flakes. Yeah. Frosted Flakes for sure. Uh, uh, Cheerios, Honey Nut Cheerios. Honey Bunches of Oats, underrated cereal. Yeah, eh, kind of an old man cereal. Yeah, Sorry, but it's Greg. delicious. Honey Bun, no, man. Old man cereal is like Raisin Bran. That's the same thing. Wheaties. It's the same thing. You know. Is the Wheaties box still a big thing? No. Do we still really, do that? Right? We don't it's do Jump that the Shark Wheaties box. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't think so. Mm. Really? I still see people on a Wheaties cover. Who's the most recent Wheaties athlete? But it's not a Wheaties big deal, athlete? right? Do we know? Um, can anybody mention it? The last one I can think of, and this is a couple of years <laughs> ago, was go. Simone Biles, the gymnast. Yeah, uh, yeah. I saw huh. her on a Wheaties box. The internet, Fairly the internet will tell us. You guys just don't know this off the top of your head? I'm on the Wheaties website, and Simone Biles is the headline. Still? Like on here, so... It says Simone by Bi- Simone box number two. I don't know what that means. Uh, I see so Serena. So Serena's on, had one recently. So they're on their second Simone box. Hmm. I don't know. Oh. It, lo- it looks like they're in reruns. I see Simone Biles. I see Muhammad Ali. I see Michael Jordan. Oh wow! They're yeah. playing the hits. Yeah, yeah they're going exactly. to get from back oh, in the day. Yeah, the budget must be. Oh, no. What? People aren't buying Wheaties. What do Wheaties taste like? I've never I had like Wheaties. Wheaties. They're underrated. Yeah. Really? What do they, they taste like? They get soggy very quickly. That's the problem with yeah, them. They, yeah. You know, if, if you over milk them, yeah, it's you, better, you better be eating quick. Yeah, it's like wet newspaper. What you do, yeah. basically, yeah. you take a little spoon with some with a Wheatie into the mouth, and then you kind of, like, squish down on the Wheatie and, like, get that sugar and, like, let it, – it's almost like you're filtering all the milk down into your throat. So what's left is just the Wheatie. Hmm, but you've sucked all the flavor out of it. So like when you swallow like this, but what is the flavor? It's like like, sh- like that the the white frosting is like a sweet sugar, but other than that, it's just kind of like a grainy. So it's like a it's a grainy taste with like a sweetness on it. It's like a frosted flake. No, frosted no. flake is like it's uh, it tastes like a grain. It's like it's kind of yeah, gross. It's, it's What's without the sugar, cereal? it's gross. That, that other gross cereal is terrible. I, I remember throwing sugar on my Wheaties when I was a kid because yeah, my Wheaties, dad like insisted on eating them. My you know. Wheaties don't have sugar. Yeah, mine are yeah, nothing. I, mine yeah. are regular Wheaties. What you guys don't? Oh, fro- I'm doing frosted, like well, yeah, frosted mini wheats. Right. I don't oh. know. See, that's a whole. That's different what thing. I was That's about. all I think of uh, when I think of Wheaties. That's a whole different thing. Dude, frosted yeah, mini wheats. I've never those had. Suck. I've never had. I mean, Tony, they're better than just terrible. Wheaties, though. Those are terrible. No, frosted, oh, I, frosted I like mini wheats are delicious. You guys prefer it, Wheaties to frosted mini wheats? I do. Yeah. No, I'm a frosted mini wheats guy. You gotta go frosted mini wheats. It's like eating like the wheat plant. Like, yeah. that, like that's biting an awful. But if you get it, I don't want that. But aren't regular f- Wheaties just that without the sugar? The I don't know. Plant. That's what I was asking. Yeah, yeah like the good. wheat. <laughs> the you, wheat. Mean, you mean just wheat? <laughs> yeah, the plant of wheat. I would tell you to look up the box to see what's in it, but as we learned, that's just made up. Thank you. You can put anything it's on that true. box. Thank you. It doesn't matter. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> now it's you not get real. It. Now it's made up. You can't trust big wheat. Yeah. You can't trust big anything, to be honest. There was a guest. What? There was a guest. Did you just get a text? Yeah, you looked at it. Yeah, I did. No, I got a text. There was a guest. Yeah, my. There was a, what? Oh, there was a guest <laughs> many, many years ago, and I'm probably thinking like 2017 on the show, and nobody can remember this guest. But it was one of the things that like wowed me as Whoopi far Goldberg. as the guest goes. No, no, no. Whoopi. Was she, was Karen she running something? 17? No. So there was a guest that came on that talked about the things that you can find in foods at supermarkets, and one of the things he said was in the grated Parmesan, like thing that you put on your spaghetti love it it's like 10 percent like wood sawdust and i was like wow that can't be true but then i looked it up and i don't know if it's true or not but it sounds good wait what? <laughs> you looked it up and you don't know if it's yeah, true i or couldn't not. find like hey x <laughs> what brand was that i find that hard to believe what was that it was a guest what do you i don't know i know but you told this story that had no ending no it was well, this guest said this one thing i looked it up and i couldn't find it so i, I don't know if it's it. real or not right because we were talking about how people can just put whatever they want in food, and then you're like, oh, wow, this. Wow. Like t- Actually, Tony, Time Magazine, 2016, the FDA, FDA is warning pasta and pizza lovers that cheese labeled 100% Parmesan are often filled with cheese substitutes like wood pulp. 
There's a, there's also an. But that, you looked it up and couldn't find what I did. Yeah, you when found it pretty. Cheese substitute. You, you found it pretty quick. Some people, if, well, you know, it, if you're down it, on your luck, you can't find. It's because it's gr- it's it's the grated cheese, right? Like the one that you know, the one that you come out of. It's the like part. mulch. Yeah, right? so they just throw mulch. it in there. It yeah. continues. Yes, you've been eating wood thanks to companies like Castle Cheese, which produce Parmesan cheese containing mm. no actual Parmesan for almost thirty years. Wow. You know, you know, there's a. a and also, they say 100 percent cheese. So you can kind of slap whatever you want on a label and actually just sell it to people yeah. that are gullible enough to buy yes. it. Why are you so imagine de- that? Why are you yeah. so defensive, that's not defensive about everything? See, see, that's you know, not you know, defensive. You know, you know, you know what it is, that's Tony. Is, you're is, very defensive. Is, you know, it's not that you're defensive. He is, is that, defensive. Is that he There's likes? No, it's about like it. he ratchets his volume up to seven thousand and then he starts doing the point thing. So like, ah, I got one right. Ah, you know, and like that's crazy. That's that's crazy. You know what else Tony does a lot? Guys laugh. He knows more about what you know. What else Tony does a lot? And this isn't a knock on Tony. He does this thing. He does like. This I talk thing. with my hands. I'm Cuban. My yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. But you do this specifically. You know, yeah. you know, Stu has this. Yeah, yeah. Right? I talk with my hands. No, that's, no, that's but this, but this specifically, like yeah. when you're blocking people off, you'll do this number. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's smart. That's Thank the way you. to do it. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. Yeah. You know that there's an acceptable amount of bug parts that can go into your food too, yes. right? Correct. Don't forget that when a certain uh, fast food corporation, I'm not going to say anything because they could be potential sponsors at one point. I like that. I know, and you like this restaurant in particular. You go to it. You said fast food. I'm in. Right. Whatever yeah. it is. But remember, I'm there good. was a certain. Did percentage. you see the Jokic brothers allegedly, or Jokic allegedly drinks three liters of Coke a day? That's not good for him. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad for him. He was also. He, was time, also, he should be three time MTV. MTV. Yeah. yeah. He, he was also <laughs> drafted. MTV? Yeah. He was also drafted during a Taco Bell commercial, because he was in late in the second round. So uh-huh. they just drafted him, and then when they came back, oh yeah, we picked this guy. What? Yeah. Interesting. No. Um, <laughs> no, that's an interesting point. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Um, Wait, he was watching a Taco Bell. No, no. So the was, draft. It was, it was a, in a commercial break. Second round of the of the draft. So they went to commercial during the second round because who gives a shit about the second round? Mm. Since he was drafted during the break, the draft pick comes in. They announce him. They go to the next guy. So they just flash a graphic. Oh, they pick Nikola Jokic. Jokic, yeah. whatever. Yeah. He so, was just a graphic like, guy. Okay, who cares? Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. He was just like a quick mention, and we were moving on. So back to acceptable parts of certain things, right? There was a a conspiracy or maybe it was proven i'm not 100 sure about a certain fast food chain you seem like a big conspiracy guy i love conspiracies yeah i love tracks. conspiracies yeah. yeah i love conspiracies. did you ever text billy corbin about aliens no it's david samson david that, samson it's sorry me and samson that talk about aliens did you guys do that no but we're gonna jump on a pod together at some point oh you and corbin no are you gonna talk about wi-fi me and Samson. Samson liked the idea. He liked the, the take. Egyptian Wi-Fi. Yeah, take? he liked it. Okay. Okay. Anyways, yeah. more importantly, there was a there was a certain yeah. amount of rat feces or hair that was found in certain uh, burgers of a certain fast food chain, right? And that was a big deal back in like the '90s and early 2000s. And they were saying 100 percent all beef patty. It wasn't so. Well, you know, by saying that slogan, you probably <laughs> gave away who the restaurant is. So twasn't, thanks for that. Twasn't so. Right, Greg? <laughs> twasn't so? I mean, as Nelly Doogie always said, you got to eat a peck of dirt before you die. That's exactly right. But rat hair? Yeah. I'm fine not knowing what's in my food. Me too. Just really? give it to me. Why? Let, it t- let it taste good. I don't need to know if there's cockroaches inside <laughs> yeah. the kitchen. Like, don't yeah, give me but, those reports. I'm fine. But you're also giving an example. Like, just because there was a, sh- a piece of shrimp in one cinnamon toast, like, I'm still eating cinnamon oh, toast. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think like, that was fake. Yeah. And, like, eh. you never heard that saying? Wasn't there uh, a finger in somebody's chili one time? That was also fake. That was also they were the trying to. How do you know that, fake? Fuentes? Yeah, they were trying to get one over. Yeah, no. <laughs> the Taco Bell thing was like the most perfect example of that. And it's like we're talking about one thing. It's like you know, it's drafted during the Taco Bell. No, like, you what? were talking about Jokers drinking Fuentes, soda. That was okay. weird. Come on. <laughs> he drinks three liters of Coke a day. I don't yeah, know. it's like half of Billy's intake. Works for him. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I, I've cut down. He on used the soda. to. He used Attaboy. to. He doesn't do it anymore. We just gotta get Coogs now, like down on his. It's never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. He's he's a. Creature of habit. Greg, Co- like, Greg Cody was a of habit Greg Cody worked. was a big diet coke drinker at one point, and I he's was. and he's weeded off of it. And and you know what? It's funny you should mention that. I had a diet coke earlier today, for the first time in like months. Mm. It, that did, one didn't like it. Yeah, no, did not well, like the taste. I, I used to be a big diet coke yeah, guy, not as big it. as Coogler, <laughs> yeah, but as uh, <laughs> as I started drinking, you diet also coke, talk with your hands a lot. Just I don't know if you're not aware of it. You also well, talk with your yeah, hands. Yeah, no, a lot. no, but oh, but but they're different. Because no, your, hand, your hand is directly in different. front of the camera. The difference is Tony starts here. I do yeah. this. When Tony does right this here. thing, and like from multiple instances, where I might do this hand here, this hand here. He knows how Tony does. He, he knows it all. It's like sign language watching exactly. these guys talk. Exactly. Yeah. Sorry, I'm Cuban, man. That's what I you do. You know what? All right. How about that? Wow. I'll try to talk. It's hard. Put his hands it's really sweater. hard to talk without your hands. Yeah, we can't hear you now because you're not gesturing. Speak up. I don't know what you're saying, actually. Can you say something? No, I'm done with you guys. Okay. Greg, I have a question for you since Mike, I guess, has quit on the show that he produces. (laughs) 
Do you think that Tony would have this mustache if he was not a married man? Because this is... Brother, this is, let me tell you something. This is something that you do when you're secure in your relationship. Because I feel like if he was not married, this is not the look that he would be going for. Honestly, I'm, and, and I don't mean this as a criticism, I'm surprised he has that mustache because he's a married man. Uh, my wife loves it. See, because my wife hates facial hair. Yeah. And I don't speak for... I, I don't know, what, what do other women feel like? Like, Chrissy, Christopher, your wife doesn't particularly... She would like you to shave, No. No, no. I think uh, I, I think this like is a gener- literally the exact opposite. Yeah. When I shaved, she was like, "Oh, this is a generational." <laughs> really? Yeah, this is a generational thing, Greg. How could okay. you be so yeah, off on is, that? Because yeah. okay. my because my dad hated when we had beards, and then yeah. and then right. you know. So okay. but now it's like way more. And I honestly, I think Tony's the only guy in the whole building that can pull that off. Thank you. And the only thing I don't like, I like when your hair is longer and you have the mustache. When my hair is longer, like when I had like when you my had old it, hair. Correct. Style? I think it looked better with the mustache than this does. Really? Yes. Okay. This haircut was a downgrade. Yeah, because dude, you have good hair. Like, let it be. Thank you. You know, there's that like, one guy that said I was going bald. Yeah, I got on an idiot. Instagram. Yeah. Who? Wait, what? You guys <laughs> some, are fighting some, guy, some guy. Some guy talking shit because he yeah, because yeah, stuff. it was just because he had, like just got at his haircut. I'm like Tony has like one of the best hairlines I've seen. You fought yeah. with this person on Instagram? <laughs> no, 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 I just, no, I, just, just I, I, I told him. I, I go, this guy says you're bald. I'm like, this is just incorrect. Like, top five hairlines. Taylor's got a great hairline. Yeah, but Taylor's young too. He has yeah, that's that true. He's thirty. I he, think. he hasn't 29? lived. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Yeah. I mean, he's two years younger than I am. Does Stu Gatz have a good hairline? Mm. Hmm. He he's not. He wasn't the same after the fine bomb. Like that really? legit messed up his really? hair. Really? Yeah. Really? He had he had a little bit of a bald spot, oh. like for a couple years. It grew back, but it took a little bit of time to fill in all the way. Like it, it did mess him up a little bit. The fine bomb thing. Lewis oh. is like a chia pet. Yeah. That guy grows hair like crazy. He told me the other day, he's like, you know what? What if I grew hair like long hair? I was like, don't do that. Don't do that. Good, Dude, good story. The only, the only, the only really envious thing I have here is Danny's beard. Danny has a Danny like has a the best beard, beard I've yeah. ever seen. Yeah. Mm. Like I want that is so man's beard. Right yeah, there. Yeah. Danny is a behind the scenes video guy for us, and I've been hearing about this voicemail. He's stunt of his. Dan. He's stunt Dan. Stunt He's Dan, stunt Dan. Yeah. He stunt apparently Dan. has a voicemail where he like you he call him, it rings and rings, and then he picks up. Hey, it's Danny. Hi, it's Danny. But apparently, when I tried to call him the other day, it went. Sh- it was just like you've reached. Call blah blah right blah. Call him right now the reason. The it. reason is, Greg, is he set up his voicemail when he was 12 years old and has never changed it. So it's a ch- it's child version of him yeah. on his voicemail. No yeah. Allegedly, I haven't heard it, so but he, that's he the story. So he hadn't gone through puberty yet. Yeah, he like just set it up on his first phone okay. as a child and has never changed it. All right, it. so oh. I'm gonna call him. We're gonna try it. If we don't hear it, I'm gonna see if he can he's, come to he's, air. He's listening to everything we're saying. I, right know. Now. I know. He's like 30 feet away. I want him to come to air. If <laughs> this doesn't work, hangs out of my head. I want Danny terrible. to come to air and mimic what it sounded like. But hold on, here we go. Will he let it go to voicemail? Yeah, yeah, Great content. This is great. Great content. Oh, sh- Here it comes. Your call is See, oh. Danny. He changed it. And then you'll say up and down. Oh, no, I didn't change it. Yeah. Can Danny you just come in here and speak into the mic no. what it would have sounded like? Hey, maybe Danny. maybe that was Danny imitating a woman's voice. Do you mm. ever think of that? Could be. Billy, the funny thing about the mustache yeah. is I used to not do it, right? And there was one day where I was like, I think everybody does this with this, their significant other. Um, when you have a full beard or you've got a lot of facial hair and – you trim it or shave it to do something wacky just for your wife or your significant other. And you're just like, ha, look, I look like a closer in the AAA. Like I have like a full Fu Manchu and then like just the patch or just I take everything else except the patch off or I do like mutton chops. And I'll be like, hey, I'm just doing this. And then she gets upset. One day I, ju- I did it with just the mustache. And then I was like, I'm leaving it. I'm not, I'm not changing it. It was during the pandemic. And then after like a week, she's like, you know what? It works. I like it. Mm. You kind of have like a Captain Morgan situation going on. I you can have o- the mustache and I, then the chin hair. Yeah, I can only grow facial hair like mustache a little bit, like a soul patch, yeah. and some here, and then it gets patchy on the sides. Like if I if it went long enough, it would fill in somewhat, but it, it looks nasty. And like t- what your question earlier is There's actually uh, a name for a Billy's beard. It's called the Van Dyke. Hmm. I learned like that from Ted Lasso. Since you guys, are I like the I like me. the Captain Morgan though better. It looks good on you too, Billy. I'm not gonna lie. The mustache? We should just do mustaches together. No, but see, he has to do like a mustache and then a little, little thing here. No, but do that would look good on Billy. Just the mustache. You guys all want to do it? We should all do it. I'm not shaving my beard. Yeah, well, he did it already once. Yeah, I did that. I saw yeah. that. See that? Yeah, but you didn't leave the mustache. Chris shaves his mustache. Like if anything, Chris has the rest, just didn't not the mustache. Didn't it grow back like in three days? Didn't you like sneeze and a new beard came out? Yeah, I mean it. It <laughs> grows back like within a week. <laughs> But it's just I, I prefer the beard. My wife has requested Greg that I shave because when I when I like you know 
like have my daughters like you know gives me a kiss or I give her a kiss like I think that that the hair like irritates her skin a little Levica. bit right yeah so I've been asked to like shave as much as I can plus it looks terrible so. well Billy when I look at you right now I don't see a man with a mustache I see a man who hasn't shaved in a couple of days mm. but do you consider yourself having a mustache right no now? not at all no I sh- I actually shaved on Sunday night okay so I I think shaved, that like, razor shaved? Wow, so five yeah, days yeah with yeah. So I shaved with a razor. So I, I my schedule right now, like I with think, shaving cream. Yeah, with shaving cream. Wow. Dollar Shave Club really? shaving I cream. Yeah, I use their trimmer. I use Dollar Shave Club trimmer. DSC. Amazing. Yeah. So I shave. Um, I think that my ideal timeline is probably just to keep this like I do it twice a week, right? Because w- once a day is overkill, right? Like I'm fine with a little bit of like this stubble. And then it starts getting like you were saying. You see, kind of like the mustache, and you the see five o'clock shadow. Yeah, and and I, because I don't have a full face of hair, it looks just kind of. When gross. did you When did you do your mustache, Tony? Because you're already getting uh, five o'clock too. Yeah, I did it. Uh, let's the. Uh, so it's been a few days because you have to think about it. Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Saturday this past week. Six days. You shave the rest of your face. Yeah. I, oh, I trim. I never shave. Well, for on TV, it's been seven days. Yeah. Well, whatever. Last week. Yeah. It was a, it was in combination with my haircut. Do you get gray in your beard? Do they? Do no. you? Do you have the barber cut your facial hair, or you never. do it yourself? I yeah, I've never, I've never had them cut my facial. No, hair. I, I, I do. I only like like it when he does it. Really? And then like I have a really specific Which window. Which one? Which one of your barbers? It's none of your damn business, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh. I like the beard. I get my beard like <laughs> yeah, taped trimmed up. up. It's better. And then I have like a very small window of when it looks good, because then I have a lot of gray coming out of my beard. Like I don't know if you guys see my brother. He looks, looks like good. a s- snowball. Yeah, I like the little gray. Yeah, but I, I don't, I, I don't mind it in it's my like, hair. I hate it in my beard. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking I, at it right now. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to look bad. I'm not going to color it. I'm, uh, but it's just. You not should a come in one day with just like a black shoe polish. Jet black beard. Yeah. Can we be sick? When I go for a haircut, she thins out my. Eyebrows. Is that mm. weird? Or no. Is that common? One no. of my guys does that too. Yeah. Yeah. He'll okay. like put a like an attachment. And he'll do it real yeah. fast. Yeah. Yeah. What about okay. the? I need my, to have that done. What about? Do you guys ever get the the, <laughs> the nose? Like, does he ever do the thing I, with I like the edge of the like thing like the the. I, for, I don't know the, the name. The, the thing with the wax. The really t- like the one like when you're going to zero like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. He'll like with the very corner of it. Yeah, go go yeah. around like in the nose oh, to get like. The, I want to. It's kind of it. gross because it's like he's using it on the next person. Yeah. Like that part's a little <laughs> no, odd. It, though. Yeah, I want to. I want to do the the thing where they put the wax on like the lollipop. Me stick too. And just Black that. wax. Yeah. I want to do that. I want to do that because I Greg Cody has you know some strays given me hairy noses like that of all like the things <laughs> like you know gotta get the right tool man. my they wife right, things yeah, that like right once like every three weeks my wife's like you gotta trim the nose hairs yeah. you know like it, it gets yeah. and, and i appreciate i would appreciate you guys in the future if you ever see if, if it's getting away from oh, me me too just hit me with it because any, any it can straight happen. hair please let me know Kidding. mike mike often will be like bat in the cave and i'll just be like it's just a hair <laughs> can i ask a sports question yes because I, I this just came to is me now show? yeah well, i don't know what this is this just came to me now do you think it's possible that Carmelo Anthony retired this week because he knew that the Denver Nuggets were going to make the finals mm. and he wanted to be honored in some yeah. sort of ceremony during the NBA he finals wants a in Denver? Yeah, like because he right. just retired now. They right. just made the finals. Now is the time to have him come out and do whatever it is that they do this before be your take the, of the game. Well, this is a, this is a good take. Issue. It is. Yeah. What about this? Think about this. Um, they're going to honor Carmelo. Yeah. But Jokic wears the same number. Mm-hmm. What number do they retire with what jersey? Because if you're Melo, you're hoping that they retire 15. But Jokic is a two-time, should be three-time MVP. And if they win a championship and bring a championship to Denver that Carmelo could never bring, who gets retired? This is actually the PR guy's fault from the beginning. For which, giving him the PR number? Guy? Correct. Because now there's yeah. like a... Now you're going to have this thing because obviously if Jokic wins a title, you're going to give him like he didn't go running to New York. You know what I mean? So well, you can just you retire kinda, two 15. Yeah, you can just put 15, 15. But yeah, it's, but you, then you're going to have to retire Melo's 15 when Jokic retires. Oh, yeah. This is the bed they made. Well, they have to lay in it. Well, I'm just right. thinking outside. What, the is, house. what is that even? Is that like I a catchphrase? Hey, look, of yours listen. Or I just I did the Billy two hand clap thing, so it's done. <laughs> you say that, that he says that's a thing that I do, but he does that more than I do. Like, I learned it from you. Conversation with me goes, oh, yeah. Why do, only only with and you. Like that. I don't walk into my mom's house. Hey, right, mom, pasta. What's up? I don't. I only do it when pasta. I talk to you. Yeah, yeah I don't know. She's making food. Hmm. Making pasta. Can we talk about your cruise? He went on an adults-only cruise, Greg. Whoa, a virgin voyage. Baby. Have you ever been on one? Maybe. <laughs> Started out a virgin I voyage. Have never. Hey, yo, hey. 
I have never been on an adult cruise. Wait, I've been, I've been on a disco cruise. I was going to say, Dad, didn't you go on that some, like, didn't you go on, like, some like 70s that, yes, disco that disco I cruise. took to mean a swingers cruise? Well, <laughs> you went on a swingers cruise? I mean, you know, what are we talking wait, about? Wait, hold on here? a second. You went on a swingers cruise? I mean, when the boat is rocking, don't come knocking, am I right? Come on now. I'm just saying. No, it was a disco cruise. Megan, I'm Yeah, What were your rules? And you know it. What were your rules? Uh, there are no rules, just Safe right. word? No. no wow, rules, just Outback. Right. No, there's, there's, there's no rules. I mean, it was a disco cruise, which was so, so strange because it's the kind of thing where they have all these uh, has-been acts without the real people in them. Like, you, you see... You <laughs> Casey see, and the Sunshine Band without Casey. Well, that was the exception. Oh. That was like the Casey. headliner. Oh, they had Casey. They, yeah. Yeah. they got Casey. Oh, they get headliner. the disco cruise. That wow. was the headliner. But I want to say this. This was a couple of years ago. KC was really overweight. Oh. I mean, I'm talking about 300. More like KFC in no the Sunshine Band. That's exactly right. <laughs> that's that, exactly right. No, that right. was his joke. Oh, wow. That was his joke. I he just, was, look he at that. He made himself made the joke? You know, he's, yeah. very, he's weighs 350 pounds. He's still doing all the disco spins and everything. No way. And he was so self-conscious that that was his joke. Huh. Maybe you said it before, and that's where I, I had I it think subconsciously. You did. Yeah, wait to step on my punchline. <laughs> but um, I'm just being funny. Uh, but but the rest of the acts were like Harold Melvin funny. and the Blue Notes without Harold Melvin. So, so just you know, the Blue Notes. Just yeah, the Blue Notes. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Was Harold Melvin too expensive, or is I he still he had, with us? I think or? he is, was no longer with, with us. us. Oh, okay. Did you yes. go? Did you take like uh, like a tire, like clothing appropriate? I did, actually. For, yeah. what, what do you wear on a disco cruise? I actually should wear it on the show next Tuesday. You should. Yeah. You yeah. should. Big lapel, right? It's yeah. my big lapel. It's my disco. I don't want to give it away, but it is definitely a disco era shirt. Whatever it is, don't tell us what it is. Whatever it is, wear it next week when you're in here, but don't, don't tell anyone. Yeah, yeah and see why it is. If they ask you why it is that you're wearing that, yes, and then we'll know. Whether they listen to the mystery crate exactly. or not, and if they're supporting our projects, exactly. I like it. That's mm -hmm. a good test. Do you have bell-bottom pants that went with that shirt? I or? didn't. No, mm -hmm. I didn't. Don't know. have them ruin the outfit. No platforms with goldfish in them. No, no. no but I, I lived through the disco era, and I did used to wear bell bottoms, and they used to have pants called flares. Mm -hmm. If you didn't want the full bell bottom, you got the flare, which was like a mini bell bottom. Yeah. yeah. But I had. Um, they're I coming got, back. Yeah. Flares are they? Back. Yeah, I got back. a I got a picture of me somewhere wearing like um, four inch plat. Form heels. No way. Like, Hell yeah. Like We're white four inch platform heels. How was the hair? Uh, back then I had some. The jab. Yeah. Yeah. It was really good. But did you afro it or did you? No, no, I, I never could do an afro unless I got a perm. Back kind of unless look? I got a perm. It was more like a. Did you get perms? Yeah. No, I didn't. No. Never. Oh. It was like I think I did once. Now that you mentioned it. Yeah. It looked awful. Never again. Yeah. No, but I used to. In that era, I used to have like shoulder length hair, mm. like hippie type. Nice. You know, rock and roll hair. Yeah. Yeah. When does I was your swingers cruise? My adults only cruise is fantastic. Yeah, there was. It does have a connotation of swingers. When of you course, say adults only. Yeah, it does. Because yeah. you could just say, "Hey, I went on a cruise." Well, and did they goes. have on this? Well, cruise but that's the big selling point for Virgin. Is that? By the way, Virgin, I'll mention you every day on this show if you somehow reach out to me. Well, and, yeah, Chris, you be careful me. because we may have a cruise. Were there so. things oh, like on the cruise cruise compass that like they're not going to say like, "Hey, we're a swinger ship," but there's like at <laughs> 7 p.m. come for cocktail hour. Yeah, what were the names yeah. of the activities? Emphasize that maybe, cock. There was yeah. a yeah. Like oh, clothing it optional. Definitely <laughs> didn't say it like that. Were there pineapples being served? You know, no. Like that. See, that would have been that important. That would have been a Did dead giveaway. No, no. But you know what? Now that I think of it, now I'm thinking every time I might have seen one. There was a trivia question. Pineapples are a common. Thing pineapples are no. a common among thing swingers, on cruise yes. ships. Among swingers, no, yes, no, yes. no, on cruise ships. It's a swinger. It's a swinger. What's the thing, thing with the if, swingers? If you're ever walking around pineapple. a grocery cart and you see a pineapple in a grocery cart on a person, that they're it's fishing. What if they're down, just though. buying? Yeah. A yeah. yeah, what if they're buying a pineapple? No, it has to be upside down. Upside That's down why. on the Wait top part. What does pineapple have to do with? Hold on, I'm gonna do that. I don't make the rules. Yo, can we do a video bit where I walk around a store with my pineapple upside down and see how long someone's like? Not that people are. But when you do, when you do, you gotta be like, hey, some lady just walk by. Be like, Very dangerous guess. game time, playing. Time out. Everybody, <laughs> pause. Time out. Do this on your your subscription on Instagram, where you have a pineapple it's upside a down, work, and it's like, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. You know what this means? Hey, know, hey, and, hey. And, hey. We'll do, we'll do and it then at, have an affair. And we'll do. It. Hey, <laughs> we'll do you want it. fuck. Chris, <laughs> we'll do it for ten minutes Get at a time, and then you just break it up into minute long videos. Boom, you have content for a year. Oh, right. The same pineapple content yeah, with the same whatever. shirt on. I, how do you both know this pineapple thing? So you put a pineapple upside down in your shopping A little bit about everything. You, you want to have a shopping? You want to have an affair? You're, you're down for swingers action. But pineapple is a very swinger-friendly thing. There's another thing. Isn't a like a, a black wedding ring? Oh, I don't know. Well, I don't know about I've that. I've heard that if you put, like, if you have different color wedding rings and you have a black one on. You have like, a black one on. No, it's like gray. 
Okay, well. <laughs> yeah, it's I like mean, a slate. <laughs> I'm going to look this up. So wait, hold on a second. So if you have an upside down pineapple, it means that in you, the shopping cart at the grocery store, you want to swing, not just you're like you're down for like some sort of Correct. You know. How did you're that start? In swinging. Can you explain that? I cannot explain to you the origins of swinging and pineapples. I can just tell you that they're for sure a thing. And does that work? I don't know if it works. I've never tried it. I was trying to. Not see big of a not, him, not a swinger. Hmm. A one woman yep. guy. There you go. We have Good thirty seconds. And to she promote likes everything. the mustache, you know, so yeah. I can rock it. Hey, hey, come on. We got thirty seconds to promote everything. Twenty five now. And you know it. And you know it. So, Greg, what podcast are you on? Uh, it's the Greg talking? Cody Show, oddly enough. I couldn't think of a better name, so I just named it after myself. I like that one, though. Thank yeah. you. There you go. Uh, who else? Uh, Cinephile. Anthony Ramos is on. We're doing Billy Madison. I made Ad Dan watch. For my birthday, he agreed to watch Billy Madison. Yeah, what? Ten seconds. Uh, the Greg Cody Show featuring Greg Cody. Billy. Uh, we had Tim Legler on Stupidity, but that's old now because and the series have wrapped. Check out Southie Sessions. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, let's get it right. 